hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel now in the previous video we wrote uh, star script actually to uh, show the uh, stars rating uh, on level clear but uh, we have a small problem here so let me uh, play the game and i will tell you what the problem is so we are uh, collecting our chickens and dropping them into our home and now our level has been cleared but notice here i did not collected any coin but still i am getting three stars rating so uh, to fix that uh, what you need to do is you need to go to your stars handler script and in the uh, function that we wrote stars achieved uh, what we did was uh, actually we did a logical mistake here uh, let's say if we uh, did not collect any coin and then the percentage will be zero because coins left will be three and coins collected will become three uh, total coins are three so coins count is three minus counts uh, coins left are also three so three minus three will be zero and when we put zero in here we will get zero but none of this condition matches with that case because we are simply checking if the percentage is greater than or equal to 33 and similarly if the percentage is greater than or equal to 66 and then else so uh, there is no case here that matches zero percentage so what we are going to do is we are going to go to this second else if and in here we are going to put another else if percentage less than 30 so if the percentage is less than 30 then we are not going to do anything we are not going to enable any star so uh, save this script and go back and now let's play the game again so now we are not getting any stars because we did not collect any coin and the percentage here is you can see that we have zero percentage that is this debug line right here now after that uh, you will also notice i have these three new buttons in this dialog so uh, to create these dialog what you need to do is uh, let's go and enable our level dialog and in the level dialog i have this i have this uh, panel game object so uh, simply go to canvas and go to ui and create a canvas uh, sorry not canvas uh, panel now after creating panel name that panel to bottom panel and remove the canvas renderer and image component both of them from our panel and uh, scale this panel at the bottom of this dialog and uh, make sure to put these anchors white arrows on each of the corner now after that in this uh, panel game object i have three buttons so simply in uh, click on the panel and then go to ui and then create a button now after creating a button uh, change its name to back to main and in the projects i have provided all the sprites for these buttons so uh, here is back to main menu sprite forward sprite and we will have a replay right here now on that button simply uh, select the uh, back to main sprite and drag it onto this image source image property and also make sure to check the preserve aspect and set native size 
now after that uh, duplicate this button two more times and uh, place the first one at the uh, bottom left corner and then this one in the middle and that one in the right bottom corner now and also make sure to place their anchors too now after that uh, you need to create uh, you need to go to this UI handler and on the UI handler we have a script called UI handler so open this uh, UI handler script and in this script we wrote these three functions back to main replay level and next level so simply in the back to main we know that uh, the main scene will always be at zero index so we are simply going to say scene manager dot load scene and zero similarly replay level we will get this active scene whatever scene the user is playing we will get the that scene name and we are going to reload it by calling load scene and the next level will always be uh, the next level at build index so we are simply getting the current scene build index and then add one to it to load the next level in the build index now save this script and go back and then on back on back to main on click create an event by clicking on this plus and drag this ui handler onto uh, that and then select stars handler uh, sorry ui handler and back to main similarly for replay again select the ui handler drag it right here and select replay level and the next level function for our next level button now uh, another thing that you have noticed i have an animation on my level a uh, dialog now to create an animation simply go to your animation window and select the level dialog now you will have a create button right here simply click on that create button and uh, name your uh, level dialog animation as i did right here level dialog animation and save it inside your assets animation folder now after that uh, simply hit this record button and on the first frame change the scale so let me so now on the first frame you can see that the scale of my level dialog is 0 0.1 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 now at 0 0.20 after 20 uh, uh, frames i am going to after 20 milliseconds uh, we are going to scale it to 1.1 on all of the three axes and then at half second we are again going to set it to 1 so now save this script by pressing ctrl s or command s and then go back to your animations folder or where you have saved that animation so here is my uh, level dialog animation and make sure to uncheck this loop time from there now uh, do that and then click on this level dialog and now we have a nice animation on our level dialog now uh, the one other thing that we need to do is uh, go to your kitty script and right now you won't be able to control your uh, character with your keyboard so uh, to because we commented this line of code in the previous video and now i have surrounded it with an if statement by simply checking if the platform we are running our game is windows editor or unity editor then we can execute this line of code but when we build this game onto uh, ios or android now this condition will be going to be false and this 
line of code will not going to work instead we are going to control our player by using the on screen buttons that we have created in the previous video now that's it for this video and uh, i will see you in the next video